Hey, I'm Christina Cho. I'm the human behind the food blog and Instagram, Eat Cho Food. Welcome to my kitchen. It's a really glorious day in California. The sun is shining, the temperatures are nice and warm, and it feels like everything is just about to bloom in my backyard. I'm really excited to show you around. We're gonna make some breakfast, we're gonna make some lunch, and just enjoy this really beautiful day. While I sip my green smoothie, I normally like to go outside, see what's blooming these days. And then we have this lovely herb garden. I think I'm gonna pick some of this mint for lunch today. So the first thing that we wanna get going are our rice noodles. I have about four ounces of dried rice noodles here. Just put them in boiling water and then turn it off. And in about 10 to 15 minutes or so, they're gonna be the perfect texture. While our rice noodles are soaking in the hot water, we're just gonna season our tuna. And I have about like a six to eight ounce filet of ahi tuna here. Technically is still raw in the center, so buy it the day before or the day of that you're gonna make these fresh rolls. And I'm just gonna do a pinch on either side. And then to add a little bit of crunch to our tuna, we are gonna do a mix of black and white toasted sesame seeds. And this is gonna be our crust. It's gonna add a really nice texture. And not all of the sesame seeds will stick immediately, but you wanna do your best and press really firmly into the tuna so you get a nice crust stuck to it. And we're gonna do both sides. Okay, so once you're happy with the coating of sesame seeds, we're gonna heat up our pan and sear it up. So let's slice our cucumber. Whatever vegetable you add into your fresh roll, you just want it to have a nice crunch and bite to it because the ingredients that we're adding into our fresh roll here, like the avocado and the ahi tuna, are kind of soft and buttery, which is wonderful, but you need that contrast, that crunch to balance everything out. So our cucumber is ready to go. So we're just gonna be tearing the leaves of the mint that I picked in my backyard. I love to add mint or something herbaceous into the fresh rolls because they cut through the richness of both the tuna and also the avocado. And some of the bigger leaves, I don't mind the size of them, but if you have like a really big mint leaf, then you can always cut it in half or cut into smaller strips. Wonderful, they smell so good. Now it's time to prep our California avocados. You can always tell if an avocado is at peak ripeness if you squeeze it and it has a nice little give to it. So this one feels good to me. For the fresh rolls, I want my avocados to be in nice overlapping thin slices. So we're just gonna cut it in half around the pit. So I really love adding avocados to any dish I can really sneak it into. I love adding it to sandwiches for something creamy, of course, salads. But something that I also really like to do is make little kind of avocado hand rolls. Um, no rolling required. But all you do is just steam some short grain sushi rice, grab a packet of roasted seaweed or one of those like seaweed snacks and make little bites of food. Another telling sign that your avocado is at perfect ripeness is when the skin just like effortlessly peels off like this. It's so satisfying. So California avocados are especially beautiful right now during spring and summer. Super convenient for me is because I live in California. So California avocados don't have to travel very far. And it's helpful to have a really sharp knife for this if you care about having like nice uniform thin avocado slices. I'm just gonna cut from one edge to the other while keeping the avocado intact. So now we're just gonna start slicing our tuna. You wanna just make sure you have a good grasp of the tuna filet with your non-dominant hand and then just like strongly and confidently make really thin slices. And when you're cutting like a really delicate fish like this, it does help to have a nice sharp knife so you don't tear the meat at all. And we're looking for about like quarter inch slices. You don't really wanna go too much thicker than that for the fresh rolls because then it'll get a little hard to bite through. So we're gonna be hydrating our rice paper wraps. Um, all I have is a shallow dish filled with some water and we're gonna place the wrap in the water, press it down to submerge it. And it's only gonna take five seconds. You just want a quick dip in the water and take out the rice paper wrap while it's still like firm like this. It's gonna to continue to hydrate and get a lot more delicate, like the texture that our final fresh rolls are gonna have. I'm gonna grab just a few slices of avocado and you don't have to do this, but I, I really like the way that it looks. 
but I just grab a few slices that are still adjacent to each other. And all I do is I just kind of gently spread and fan out the layers. I put it just north of that center line, and then we're gonna add a strip of tuna. Next goes a bundle of rice noodles, and I'm placing it just south of that bundle of avocado and tuna. Now we have some cucumber, a few mint leaves. I really like mint, so I'll add like three leaves or so. And then our crispy fried shallots for crunch. Now we are ready to roll them up. And the rolling process definitely takes some practice, but after a few, you'll get the hang of it. We're gonna grab this bottom edge, pull it up and over. And then we're gonna grab the left and right edges, pull them over so that everything is nice and securely packed in there. And you're gonna grab the south edge again and fold it over and then just continue rolling. And fresh rolls really are so pretty because you can see through it. And so at the end, you'll see a really nice arrangement of beautiful avocados. I'm gonna make a really quick but really delicious dipping sauce. I'm gonna add some Kewpie mayo here. And then just for a little heat, we're gonna add a squirt of sriracha. Mix it up until smooth, and then that's it. I love the sauce here because it has a really nice spicy bite with the avocado and the tuna. Okay, let's give these guys a taste. I could eat these like every day. They are so good. The noodles are really nice and chewy still, have a great texture. I can, I can taste the mint. And then of course the tuna and avocado are just so, so good. Great creamy texture, really nice and rich. And everything just tastes so fresh. And the sriracha mayo just like pulls everything together. So good. So I think I'm just gonna head out to the backyard and enjoy this really wonderful sunny California day. Try to get some work done and see if Olive wants to play some ball. Uh, thanks for watching me make these ahi tuna and avocado fresh rolls. You can find the recipe over at food52.com.